We are keeping it simple today, as you can see. I am taking the opportunity to talk about my Costco shopping experience. It was awful. I love Costco. I'm just saying this because there's so much people out there, so many people, I mean, and I just feel like I always gotta say, sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. And some people don't even do that back to me. And I'm like, why are you so rude? Um, manners, people, manners. But I just wanted to kind of like share the goodies that I got today. And I always love to talk about like good finds. So if you have found anything at Costco that you really are obsessed about, like you gotta let me know and I will let you know my stuff. First off, let's talk about this granola. I absolutely love the Kirkland Signature Nature's Path Organic Granola. I put this on acai bowls um, with a little bit of yogurt um it is delicious i'll sometimes do like for dessert a scoop of ice cream granola and blueberries the blueberries make me feel like i'm you know semi being good um you know with my eating habits but i have tried multiple granolas and there are some really good ones but this is my all-time favorite the flavor it's crunchy this one has probiotic in it it's called probiotic granola so um, definitely give this a try. Next has got to be the Kirkland Signature Soap. I cannot tell you how good this soap is. I love it. Um, I, I will not buy soap until they stock back up because there are soaps that make your sponges stink. If you do the dishes, you know what I'm talking about. And this soap here does not do that for you. Sometimes they come out with the green um, or the blue and either, either or I'm gonna try the blue one this time. So don't fail me Kirkland's, but they don't stink up your sponge. They foam up nicely and they go a long way. They're kettle chips with Himalayan salt are bomb. These things are thick. They're super crunchy. They, the bag is usually is pretty full. Like sometimes you buy some bags and they're like full up to here. Like, come on now. Like, let's say the chips are ending right about here. Like that's pretty decent. Um, and they're with Himalayan salt. So sometimes you find them on sale like anything else, but favorite go-to chips. So I'm starting to get back into weighing and measuring my food. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, I go through seasons. I feel like I'm kind of like a bear. Um, right now, since it's heating up, I'm wanting to <clears throat> change my eating habits and kind of monitor a little bit, maybe work out a little more. Um, and I love their almond butter for, you know, just making my, um, my little delicious treats like apples with almond. The only ingredient in this is roasted almonds. So when I'm doing my meal prepping and um, just trying to be cautious of what I'm eating, and I usually am, but when I'm extra, um, I usually look for the ingredients. I've learned a lot along the way. And look at your ingredients. Some of them have a lot of extra stuff. I won't mention any other brands, but pay attention next time you shop. Must get their crest. It's actually on sale now. Their oat milk. I go through them like nobody's business. I use this for my coffee in the morning. Um, I like it better than almond milk because when I heat up the almond milk for my coffee, it tends to taste like toasted almond or toasted something. It must be toasted almond, duh. But it doesn't happen with the oat milk. Now, if you are weighing and measuring food, it does have higher carbs in it. So just be mindful of that than the, than the uh, almond milk. But I factor that into my daily goals anyways. So just keep that in mind. Love this oat milk. Give it a nice shake before you use it because obviously it kind of sinks to the bottom. Um, but I'm the only one that uses this in the household. Ariel's kind of like on an almond milk trend these days. Now, I picked up the Kristen S Shampoo The One. I was at Target the other day and I actually ended up getting like their little sample size and I loved the way it felt in my hair. Like my hair felt nice and soft after I washed it out and so... After a few washes with it, I mean, it smells good too. It smells really good. Um, after a few washes, I decided that I wanted to get the bigger bottles and I realized that Costco carried the bigger bottles. Um, so they have the shampoo and the conditioner. So if you've been looking and you use Kristen S, Costco has it in a big size bottle. Haven't tried these chicharrones yet, the 4505 chicharrones. This one has tahine. I love me some tahine on my margarita, on my mangoes, and now they have it on chicharrones. So how good can they be? How bad can they be? I'm excited to try these. I've had the 4, 4505, don't even know how to say the name, 
um, the regular, the red bag, and loved the chicharrones because they weren't as salty and they were, I like really crunchy chicharrones when I'm taking care of my teeth. I'm very, I've had issues, yes. And these are not as hard as the other like really, really crispy chicharrones, but um, for half an ounce, you get seven grams of protein. So this is more for like protein intake for me and total carbs are less than one gram. So there you go, more protein, protein snack for the day. Picked up some apples for my almond butter, some Kirkland sea salt, avocado oil. I think it's the first time I tried this brand. I've seen it with through other YouTube videos, um, kind of like a healthier option for cooking. So I'm gonna give this a try by trying to be mindful eating as I said. I like to play around with this, with this one and Pam or Spam, Pam, Pam, Spam. I play around because uh, depending, sometimes this one gives a little flavor, the other one doesn't. Um, so, got a two-pack. Rayo's or Rayo's homemade Alfredo sauce. We buy a lot of red sauce and I was like, I want some white sauce to change it up a little bit. And again, check the ingredients. This one does not have anything crazy on it. Parmesan, light cream, water butter, sea salt, black pepper, white pepper, food starch, um, uh, what else? Romano cheese, milk cheese. So, again, uh, from another YouTube video, uh, Rayo's was their choice and I found that they had Alfredo sauce, so picked that one up. Bro, the croissants, if you've not had their croissants, they are so good. If you have an air fryer, one minute, one minute in the air fryer, it's like you went to Paris. I've not been to Paris, but that's how I imagine. For all you people that like tortillas, don't be buying the tortillas that are in like the bread aisle, no. We don't do that here. You're gonna buy the Tortilla Land fresh ready to cook. This is as close as you're gonna get to a fresh made tortilla. They come in raw and then you just put them on a hot pan like this on medium high, medium or medium, and you're just gonna turn it over and flip it and flip it. When you start to see those tortillas bubble up and turn semi-brown, that's when they're ready. Don't let it get like a really black uh, freckles, black, uh, black dots, like you might be overdoing it. So just like give it two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, and see those spots turn like a honey brown, and then usually that's enough. So don't put these in the microwave. You put them on a hot pan like this, comal as the Mexicans say, and you'll have the most delicious tortillas. Add some turkey for the dogs. I'm gonna start feeding them a little bit of a variety of food. I keep giving them those, you know, the bags that look like cereal, and all these years I'm thinking that's probably not the best thing for them. Kirkland's. Laundry, detergent, soap. Um, they didn't have, did they have the non-scented? I went for the fresh lavender today. It's very subtle. And um, you know, there is there are some laundry detergents that keep your clothes smelling. Like there's just something, I think it's the OxyClean, the, the, there's something in certain soaps that, that carry on the clothes all day long and it drives me nuts. It might smell good, but it drives my nose nuts. And I'm like, I have it under my nose all day. No, don't like it. Kirkland's does a pretty good job with their laundry detergent. Saw this. I don't know if any of you tried the Terakai Organics juice or they don't even spell juice like juice, <laughs> but it's a super fruit and veggie vitamin blend. Like to do this in the morning with a little bit of flaxseed situation. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how that goes. Chicken sausage for morning protein. Haven't had these in a while. They're the Amy Lou Paleo Chicken Breakfast Links. Um, no antibiotics. There are 54 of them. And these are good to just throw a whole bunch in the air fryer and then have some for the week. Strawberries, bananas, some nuts for Ariel. These are addicting, oh my gosh. And if you try the Brazilian nut in here, they're so crunchy. They're not even fried or anything, but they seem like just, like they've been roasted. Are they roasted? No, I don't think so. Such a good, and they have the own salted, but we like this stuff. Ones. And last but not least, because it is getting hot, not because, we will we will buy this cold or hot, some alcohol. Oh, yes, if you're on a fitness journey, you shouldn't be drinking. If you're trying to lose weight, you shouldn't be drinking. If you're trying to be sober, you shouldn't be drinking. Ariel and I like to have our cocktails, and if you know Ariel, you know he makes really um, scientific cocktails. And... Uh, we realized recently that when we were making limoncello martinis and dirty martinis that we ran 
out of the Tito's. Love Tito's for my cocktails. And then um, tequila. I love tequila in my margaritas. Obviously, I'm part Mexican. Um, but this tequila is pretty good for shots, I would say. And they're really good to like mix. So it will you know, make up any kind of margarita or, or tequila drink. And this one seems to do a really nice job. And I love the presentation of the bottle. It almost looks like like Mexican tile at a Mexican house. And again, the Kirkland brand tequila is, you know, pretty good for price. Um, I think this one is like $21.99. I don't even look anymore because I, I like it. I, I'm the type that if I like what I see and, and I like what I eat and I want it, I'm just going to buy it. But the Kirkland brands, as you know, is typically a better price. And then Tito's is Tito's. This one's probably like $28. But again, if I like it, I'm going to get it. That's pretty much for now. So if you have any favorites, like I want to know if you've tried anything new, I want to know. And if you're trying to be on a be good, eat good journey, like let's be accountable buddies. But that'd be fun since I ran around Costco for like three hours, sweating my butt off to get everything inside. I was like, this is an opportunity. We're making a video. That's all for today, my friends. Bye.